For the last five years, every year in the first week of October, her mother used to wait for one phone call. Last four years, that phone call didn't come. Finally, in 2023, the phone rang. And on the other side was an announcement. It was the great news that Catalin Carreco and Drew Wisman have won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 2023. There is a lot which can be talked about her research. But today, I'm not just going to talk about her research, but Catalin Carreco as a person and her work. Jokingly, she used to tell her mother that every year you wait for this phone call. But my grand's approval phone call doesn't come. When I'll get a phone call for a, a Nobel Prize, it's highly unlikely and impossible. But you know, this is a fact about all great men and women out there, that they're very humble, that they all struggle, that they all pass through the toughest phase of their life, but they never give up. Catalin Carrico met G. Wisman at a, while they were doing photocopying in the university and immediately that chemistry was there in between the two that, okay, let's work on this mRNA thing. And they started doing the, their research and Fast forward to 2020 when COVID-19 pandemic struck, they could connect it all back together. Why they were chosen for this discovery? mRNA as such, it has been tried earlier also, but it always elicited an immune response, which used to be so severe that scientists used to debunk that theory that, okay, it is never possible. But these scientists, Catalin and Drew came up with a technology, came up with a formula, came up with a methodology so that they could alter the genome of the mRNA in such a way that if it enters the human body, it will not elicit immune response. However, that way they could, they would be able to generate any kind of protein the way they want. Now, the application of this particular technology is huge. You can design a vaccine without waiting for a live attenuated virus. You could develop protein on the surface of a cancer cell so that the immune system can easily identify and kill that cell. And it can be used for any type of virus, as good as a cassette where you fill, feed in the song, right? Now, this technology saw immediate spun out as Moderna and Pfizer, they came out with the vaccines in no time. But it was high time that now that humanity has overcome even the COVID, we must acknowledge the hardships and hard work of these two scientists. Catalin Carrico faced numerous challenges. First, being a woman in science itself has a lot of stigma, a lot of discrimination around bureaucracy. The funding never used to arrive on time or it was denied or delayed or cancelled. She faced it all. Third, she faced, and for, of course, Drew Wiesman also, they faced research paper publication rejections. Top research paper journals were rejecting their papers. If I have to summarize, don't you feel that whatever struggles they were in, probably many of you are already or you will be in the future. So wisdom is to understand that even a Nobel Prize winner also faced such challenges, but they kept going. So the mantra here, if you want to make a brilliant career in research is keep going. Don't stop. If you stop, then it's all over. Now, there is one very important aspect which I actually missed till now, and that is the scientific roadblocks. So you try a methodology, it fails. You try again, newer way of doing it, fails again. Keep trying, 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 trying for years, five years, seven years, 10 years, keeps failing. And then finally, one fine day it works, right? Such is science, such is scientific research. It takes decades of trial and error. That's how Drew Wiesman and Catalin Carrico arrived at the mRNA uh, technology. Of course, being in European Union or US, you may face little lesser challenges, but challenges will always be there, whether you're in India or US or UK or Europe, anywhere. My point to you is stop looking at challenges as roadblock. Look at challenges as a diversion. Like, okay, it is not allowing me to move forward this way. Let me just take a diversion and keep moving forward. Don't stop. Keep trying. Keep newer ways of doing things. Keep trying newer ways of doing things. But at the same time, never ever pay attention to skepticism, resistance and people who
who will say there is no scope, no future, no growth. If that was so, then a woman in science wins a Nobel Prize. And it, this is not just the first time. Right? We had CRISPR also, right? Jennifer Doudna winning the Nobel Prize along with Emmanuel Charpentier, right? It is high time that we start, stop saying that women in science cannot succeed. It's high time we all say that women in science and men in science are the way to go forward. What we learn from her uh, journey is collaboration. What we learn from her journey is never say die attitude. What we learn from her journey is scientific roadblocks cannot define my future. right? And what we learn from her journey is her discovery led to saving lives of millions of people from COVID. 655 million doses were administered by Moderna and Pfizer jointly last we checked against COVID-19. Imagine how many lives it saved. If Catalin Carrico and Drew Wisman had not decided to take up this research, more people would have died. Or probably this new technology would not have existed, which will save even more future lives. Right. So to all the Biotechnica members, it's my earnest request that learn from these scientists, learn from their journey and keep moving forward. Now in th the respect of these scientists and their journey, our team has come up with an excellent combination of internship on mRNA vaccine and CRISPR technology. And this particular internship is going to start very, very soon. The link is given in the description. Our faculty members and our, our experts have taken training on mRNA as well as CRISPR from US and ab abroad scientists from Pfizer and Moderna. And now they are ready to train you guys. So here is a chance to work at Biotechnica under this internship, take up some live projects, understand how the mRNA vaccine works, understand how the CRISPR uh, gene editing works. And who knows, in future, you probably you would be the Nobel Prize winner on something which you build on the top of these two platforms and technologies. So all I'm saying here is never ever stop learning. Colleges could be outdated. That excuse I cannot give to my future generation, which is you, right? I'm here to take you forward. I'm here to tell you that Catalin Carrico was just like you 40 years ago. But today, the world knows her. 40 years from today, you will be sitting on that chair. But for that to happen, take the first step. Remember, you have to start from A to reach Z, right? And that A is today. And that A is this internship, which we are starting at Biotechnica. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon on the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.